Hi guys, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. So once we've, um, we've fitted our regression model, we might want to conduct hypotheses tests. And the ones I'm look tests I'm going to consider here are the basic ones which you'll be always be taught. And these tests are known as the test of linear restrictions. So first, here's my example data on earnings data. Let's run it as a multiple linear regression model. Right. Why would we want to what kind of tests can we run? We can run tests like, so there's some tests here that are given to us, the t-test, test the coefficients that null that, the coefficients, each coefficient is zero in turn. But we might want to do other things. We might want to test that it's equal to some other number, coefficients, for example, that the tenure equals to one, say. Um, in the CAPM model, we're always interested in that, testing that the coefficients, the beta coefficients is one, whereas the alternative that it's less than one or greater than one. So that's one kind of test. Another kind of test is testing whether the coefficient, two coefficients, two or more coefficients, take the same value or that they are equal. Um, another type might be that a combination of them equals to a particular value. For example, beta 1 plus 2 times beta 2 equals 3, say. All these kinds of all these statements I've made to you can be done using the wall test as follows. Suppose I want to test that this uh, coefficient on tenure is zero. I go to view, coefficient diagnostics, wall tests, coefficients restrictions. Now eViews notation. The coefficients are labeled in order as follows. That's called C1, C2, C3, C4, C5. All right. We want to test that C2 therefore equals to zero. So I type C in brackets 2 equals zero. Enter. Now here a new window pops up and there's two parts of the output. We only need the top part. The three equivalent of these tests, we can just pick the first one when we're testing one coefficient. Indeed, they all get the same result anyway. The null then is what I've set up and that is that the coefficient on tenure is zero versus the alternative it's not zero. Since the p-value is zero, which is the smallest it can go, because remember probability takes the value between zero and one, we reject the null using our little rule that if p is low, null must go. So p is less than 0.05, we reject the null. Look at this figure 4.466, say, hold that in your head. Now where do you see it in this output? Yes, you see it right here, because it's right here. Why? because this by default is testing what the test that we've just done, that the coefficient is zero. So I just did that to show you that in coincides. So that wasn't very interesting. Say we want to test that the coefficient on schooling is one. We go view, coefficient test, wall test. Now in order one, two, three, that's C3. C3 we want equal to one, enter. Look at the T statistic, what do we say? P is 0.02 less than 0.05 we reject the null so we'll conclude that it is not equal to 1 view estimation output to get back to where we were at this stage some of us not surprisingly or understandably might say well look this log s is equal to 1.29 it's not equal to 1 so why bother to test it well remember that this is based on sample data these are only estimates what we're doing with the hypothesis testing is to test what the true parameter is, yeah? These are only estimates, these are not the true things. If they were true things, they wouldn't, we wouldn't need hypothesis testing. Um, but it's not as easy as that. Okay, let's see, let's think of a third type. So, say I want to test that the coefficient on tenure, for some reason, is equal to the coefficient on weights. View, coefficient diagnostics, wall test. Think about what I'm typing here. Well, one, two, that's C2. I'm saying it should equal to 2, 3, 4, C4. Okay, that's my null. Do I reject it? You tell me. P-value 0.37, say. What do you think? Use your head. Yes, since the p-value is bigger than 0.05, we reject the null. So conclude we... Uh, sorry. Since the p-value is greater than 0.05, do not reject the null. Do not reject the null that those two coefficients are the same. Good. What else can I do? Well, let's say that I want to test the hypothesis that uh, the whole lot of these are zero. That's a kind of important one if you think about a test statistic, because once you've built your model and you don't reject the null that all the coefficients on these guys are zero, what can you conclude about your model? That's right, it's 
not very good at all. In fact, it's it sucks, doesn't it? Because then it basically it says that none of your x's help to predict y. All right, so let's test that. In order, then this will be c two equals to c three equals to c four equals to how many have I got? One, two, three, four. One. 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, so I need a C5 for age. C5 is age. C2 is for tenure. C3 is for S. C4 is for weight. C5 is for age. And if I press enter now, that test is testing that all the coefficients are the same. But I'm not wanting that. I want that it's equal to 0. So there you go. Notice now the T test has dropped out. We're only given F and chi. Now when you're given F and chi, let's just give you a simple rule of thumb here. Just report the F. There's a reason why. Uh, if you stick with the F, you're fine. In any case, they're usually about the same anyway. It doesn't matter. But for theoretical reasons, if you stick with F, you're fine. It helps, doesn't it, if they just uh, give us few output, just give us the necessary. Right, F statistic, P value is smallest, that's a zero. So do we reject the null? Yes, using the rule that P is low, null must go. We reject the null. In other words, conclude that the model has some predictive power. In other words, at least one of those X is there help to predict our Y. Look at this value, 36.74. Hold that in your head while I go back to the output. 36.74. Do you see it anywhere here? How about I give you a clue? Aha. Uh -huh. Do I need to say more? No, I don't think I do, do I? Okay, so that uh, there's loads of other kind of tests that you want to do. If you want to look it up in the econometrics test book, this is called like test of joint test of the coefficients or testing a subset of regressors um, or testing a linear restriction. All these names goes, uh, we can do uh, deal with these kind of tests using view coefficient diagnostics, the Wald test. Hope that's been helpful.